Hello, welcome everyone. Uh, I am uh, Deanna Lacoste. I'm an associate professor of mechanical engineering at uh, KAUST and I belong to the CCRC. And uh, I will be um, organizing uh, this week, so you will see me a lot, uh, giving you some important information to how we, uh, what you will have to do during the, the summer school and uh, how you can take the best of, uh, of this uh, event. So to welcome you uh, in, uh, in this event, uh, I will uh, ask uh, Professor William Roberts, Director of the Clean Combustion Research Center, uh, to say a few words. Good morning. Sabal uh, Khair, Asalaamu Alaikum, welcome and good morning. Um, for how many of you this is the first time to the kingdom? Only a couple, very good. How many of you, this is the first time to KAUST? Only a few more. Okay, well, welcome. I hope you enjoy, uh, enjoy the week. Um, wanted to thank our instructors first for, for making long trek. Some have come from North America, Asia, and, uh, and Europe. Um, thank Deanna Lacoste for putting together the comprehensive program on zero um, carbon combustion. And, and the staff that you, that you see outside. So, I don't know if you saw in the news two days ago, three days ago, the projection that we would cross the 1.5 degree temperature rise from pre-industrial levels sometime in the next five years. It's a combination of CO2 emission and um, El Nino, um, but it's going to happen, right? And, and, and we're on our way to, to 2.0, which, could be a tipping point. I just checked, um, as of yesterday, we're at 422 ppm of CO2 in the atmosphere, right? And um, it's not, uh, not tailing off. So, so certainly lots of work to do. But, but uh, that being said, uh, you know, I, I, I'm thrilled to see so many young people here recognizing the importance of combustion, right? Um, it's you know, it's, it's kind of being made out uh, to be responsible for all of our problems. And, and of course, it, it is not. It certainly is part of the solution. Um, what we have to change is uh, what we consume uh, and how we consume it. And, and you know, things like efficiency are, are really the low-hanging fruit. So, so we have to be smarter about uh, what we burn, uh, how we burn it, and, and, and what we capture. Um, so, you know, we, we, we talk about, well, everybody talks about renewables and um, we, we, you know, we look at large scale um, uh, PV fields and now it's, you know, on the order of a penny a watt. So, so production is not the issue anymore. It's storage, and it's transportation, right? And that's where we play a critical role as we take these uh, photons, convert them to electrons, convert these electrons into something that we can store and transport and, and use later. And hydrogen uh, is a great molecule, um, right? Electrolysis of water, but it's hard to transport, hard to store. Right? So, so maybe we change it into something else. Um, ammonia is quite popular for lots of reasons. So, uh, but then, at point of use, uh, when you need to use it, you know, you need something to convert it back, re recover that chemical enthalpy, and that's where we all come in. So, so I think that combustion uh, is going to be vital for decades. Um, I think clearly we're going to be burning hydrocarbons for two decades, maybe three. Again, we have to be smarter, we have to capture the carbon, we have to move towards renewables, renewable implementation, Biofuels, although, you know, with all the biofuels, there's always the, the food versus fuel argument. So, I mean, nothing's free. Um, so, so we're going to uh, have to have to bite the bullet and do something. Um, okay, so, uh, but you're going to hear from the experts. That's enough pontificating from, from me. The, one of the objectives for you all this week should be to build collaborations. Okay, so get to know your fellow uh, 
summer school attendees, right? You can build lifelong relationships because you're in this um, intense week-long activity. So, so take advantage of that. I mean, these are the people that are going to be making decisions in the future. Um, and then just one note of, of housekeeping. Um, emergency exits are uh, on the sides here. There's no planned um, uh, alarm. So uh, if there is an alarm, treat it as real and exit across the hallway and go outside. So um, with that, I'll, I'll turn it back over to uh, Professor Deanna. Thank you. Thank you.